Hey everyone, it's Wang, aka Diva Makeup Queen. Don't forget to check out some of my recent videos here, and I'll put all links down below. And now we're ready for the Shiseido haul. Hey everybody, it's Wang, Diva Makeup Queen. How are you? And it's February, which is also the launch of um, Shiseido, which is a very nice, beautiful, high-end brand that I haven't had the chance to review. Unfortunately, they were very kind to invite me to an event, uh, actually a few months ago, and they shared with me the products that are coming out in the spring 2014. So I thought I would do some first impressions and swatches for you guys in case you're interested. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if Shiseido is famous for anything, it is definitely skincare. Shiseido is huge, 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 huge in Asia. It, it's originally from Japan and you know, I'm originally from Hong Kong and I've always known about Shiseido and I've always, I never really had a chance to try it actually. So I feel extremely fortunate to be able to try um, their skincare. So the first thing I have right here is their Future Solution LX Total Protective Emotion Broad Spectrum SPF 18 Sunscreen. First of all, the packaging is ridiculous. I mean, look at this. It's a beautiful. I'll show you. And so this is great for anti-aging, um, especially for women around my age, you know, or even younger, you should start protecting your skin. Always, always apply skincare before you go out. And this one, um, you're supposed to put it uh, on before you go out in the sun and it smooths the skin and prevents wrinkle and it protects your skin from sun, the sun. So um, I'm just going to put a little bit on to see how it is like, the texture. Oh, I see. It's like a lotion. It's basically a very, very light lotion and hence they call it emotion. Mm, really, really nice smell. So you can put that before you apply makeup, that would be really great. It absorbs right into the skin. It feels really smooth. I'm really excited about this. This is the Shiseido White Lucent Total Brightening Serum. This is supposed to diminish visible dark spots and also brighten up the skin. It's a serum, so, so that's what that looks like. Let's apply a little bit on my hand. <gasps> okay, so looks like that. It's kind of runny actually, I put too much. Um, smells wonderful and and my hand will be very smooth now on this side, which is good. I always swatch makeup on here, so it's good to put a little bit of um, awesome skincare on here. Can't wait to really try that. I also have their sweat and oil blotting film, which is kind of cool because I don't usually use this, but I should. Like for example, right now, oh wow, it's so silky smooth. Check that out. So I'm gonna blot myself right now. I don't really need to be blotted, but. Oh, I also have an eye mask from them. I'm really excited about that because that's all about putting it right in this area. Now I'm really excited about this. This is supposed to be amazing the Sheer Eye Zone Corrector. And my shade, by the way, is 103 Natural, if anyone's is interested. Um, I know everybody was very excited about that. And this is what it looks like, like so. And so there's a brush right here. And I guess you have to click for a little bit. Oh, wow. Can you see that? Oh my god, it's beautiful. Wow. Now that's what I call beauty. It's completely luminous. Sheer Eye Zone Corrector. So yeah, this is supposed to neutralize dark circles. Um, and it's got a sheer finish. And so also kind of lightens this area. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous finish. So now comes the Shiseido Shimmering Cream Eye Color. And I have a few colors to swatch for you right here. And this one right here is BE217. Beautiful cream color that looks a little bit shimmery. Oh wow. 
This stuff is the bomb.com, isn't it? Let's put it right here. Wow. And this is supposed to not crease, so that is so beautiful as a base, or you can just use it on top like that. Beautiful. Here's BL722. Look at this shade. Is that not gorgeous or what? Wow. Right here. That is beautiful. My goodness. I have two more to show you. This is YE216. And here's BL620. So you're like, wait, why aren't you swatching those? Because I'm going to give them away to you guys. I know you would like to um, try these out. So just look at the down bar to see how you can enter this. Yet again, another giveaway. Next, I have Shiseido's Lacquer like Rouge. I have three of these to try out for you. And I will swatch on lips for you and on my hand as well. So this first one right here is RD319. Looks like that. Watch on the hand. Next one's RD321. Looks like that. And I have one more. This one is RS723. And looks like that. I'm not going to swatch it. Guess why? Because I'm giving this one away too. My first impression is that the colors are clearly very beautiful. And texture and in terms of the quality is very good as well. But one funny thing is the applicator. It makes it very hard to apply the product evenly for some odd reason. And um, so, but once it's applied, one, once it goes on, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's basically like a liquid lipstick and very, very highly pigmented. Beautiful. Now comes the lacquer glosses and I have four of them, so let's swatch them. This first one is RD305. So this is very kind of similar to the lacquer rouge. The lacquer Le gloss has a different applicator and it's also a lot glossier. I guess it is like it feels more like a gloss. That one is more like a liquid lipstick if I would have to rename it. So this is sort of like the Rimmel ones a little bit very very nice. I like these a little bit better. The pie is easier and not at all sticky. The texture is not too thick. Love it. Love it. The next one is B E102. Should swatch the lighter shades first. This is the nude shade. Beautiful. Let's see if we can cover up the stain that I already have. We'll see. Wow. The answer is yes. It's very pigmented, even though it's nude is opaque. And really smooth. Oh, feels like butter and it looks great on the lips. Love this color. Obsessed now! Wow, this is a different color. I'm really curious to see how it will end up looking. Um, this is VI708. So, it looks like there's some glitter on it. Maybe this is a little bit more sheer, so we shall see. Indeed, these are buildable. One layer is sheer. Two layers, you can clearly see the purplish color coming through with the slightest amount of shimmer, which you cannot feel at all. And this last one, as much as I want to try it desperately, I am going to give it to you guys. Um, this is RS306. This is how the color looks like. I will even open it for you to see the applicator. I bet it's very beautiful, but I already have shades like that. so. I don't really need it so you guys can have it so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye